Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video we'll be talking about the average atomic mass. It's... Welcome back. In one of our previous videos we had discussed the concept of the mass number, which if you recall is the protons plus the neutrons. However, every element has multiple isotopes that exist for that particular element. So how do we find the average mass of all of them? Well, it is not like the normal way that we average, okay? So finding the average atomic mass is a two-step process. It goes like this. Step one, multiply. Step two, add. It's that simple. Nowhere in that process do you see anything that says, let's divide these two numbers. Okay, don't do that. You will get it wrong every single time. Step one is multiply, and step two is add. Now, let's get into an example problem here. And I shall use the force to bring up the picture, and all right, there it is. So let's read this question, shall we? All right, so it says, an element has three isotopes, each with a mass of 28, 29, and 30 AMU. The percent abundances are 92.23%, 4.67%, and 3.10% respectively. What is the average atomic mass? It's a fair question. So remember, step one is to multiply. But what exactly are we multiplying? Well, very simply, we're going to multiply the mass of each isotope by its respective percent abundance, okay? So in this particular example, we're going to take 28 times its percentage, which is 92.23. But remember, we can't use numbers in their percentage format. We've got to move that decimal to the left two places, so we get 0.9223, okay? For the second one, 29 times 0 0.0467. And for the last one, it is 30 times 0 0.0310. Okay, I'm going to take a moment to pause here and point out that if you forget to move the decimal to the left two places, um, that is actually the most common mistake that happens when doing these calculations, okay? So you gotta remember, it's gotta go two places, okay? So we're going to multiply these out, okay? So grab your calculator, and why don't you do the calculation right along with me so that you can check to see if you really know how to do this, okay? So here we go, we get 25.8244. This one is 1.354. Three, and this one is 0.93, okay? Okay, so what do we do at this point? All we do is we add them all up, okay? So we will get 28.1087, and if you'd like to round that, we can just simply round that to 28.11. And what are the units? Well, this is average atomic mass, which is measured in AM. You. Now how do we know if our answer actually makes sense? Well, let's take a look. Our three masses have a range of 28 to 30. So our answer must be within that range. Is it? Well, it most certainly is. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at our percent abundances. Well, the mass of 28 has the largest percent abundance, which means that our answer must be closer to 28 than either of the other two masses. And at 28.11, it is definitely closer to 28 than it is to 29 and 30. So yes, our answer does make sense. And that's how it works. If you have any further questions, please comment below. Or if you have a specific question that you would like me to solve, just send it to chemistrytalk at gmail.com, and I would love to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.